the very last game of the college football season is upon us. It's bittersweet because it's great to watch these two great teams face each other, but it's also sad because we won't have college football for quite a few months. Now you have Clemson, who's kind of the underdog, they're 14-0, and being the underdog is kind of weird, versus Alabama, who is a perennial team that's always there, they always have a good recruiting class, Nick Saban knows how to get his guys going, and you see the very first play of the game was Wayne Gallman Jr. getting lit up. Now what I want to know from you guys, most importantly, is who do you think is going to win the national championship in college football, and then what do you think the score is actually going to be? I want to see if any of you guys can actually predict it properly, uh, if any of you guys get it correct. Maybe I'll give you a shout out in a future video. So again, leave me a comment below with what team will win and the final score of the game and we'll see who's the best college football predictor. Now Deshaun Watson gets the very first touchdown of the game, so it's a 7-0 ball game. Jay Coker back here in shotgun for Alabama looking for something. Throwing out to the left hand side, he's got Calvin Ridley wide open, splits that zone. Calvin Ridley gets a crazy catch there. So first and 10, Jay Coker back again. This time, who does he find? Calvin Ridley again. Second straight play, he's found Calvin. Now in second and seven, Jay Coker is looking, and again, Calvin really is going to catch this ball, turn up the field, gets the first down, and a little bit more. That puts them in scoring position. Now Jay Coker this time switches it up, hands it off to Derrick Henry. Heisman winner Derrick Henry breaks a tackle, breaks another tackle, breaks a third tackle. Ladies and gentlemen, that is why you win the Heisman, because you break multiple tackles, you go into the end zone, tackling Derrick Henry is really, really difficult, as that play shows. So 40 seconds left here in the first half. Deshaun Watson throws the ball into coverage and it's going to be picked off by Foster. What an interception. Diving backwards, he catches that one, gets tackled, and Alabama now has a chance to actually score again before the half ends. So they get the ball out to Howard. Howard moves up the right hand side. Can he get into the end zone? They drag him out just inside the five. 28, play, 28 yards on that play for OJ Howard. Jay Coker back in shotgun. Sitting something, gets hit, throws it, but he finds Chris Black for a four yard touchdown run. Great pocket. Uh, protection there. It did fall out at the end. Jay Coker does get hit at the end of the play, but he gets the ball off in time. So Alabama's going to have a lead going into halftime 14-7. to The question is, can Clemson turn it around? So Alabama's trying to march down the field here, getting the ball to Derrick Henry, and he's stuffed in the backfield by Shaq Lawson. Coming into this game in real life, Shaq Lawson has an injury. It's going to be interesting to see how well he plays. I think, though, he'll still be an impact player. Second and 14, tons of pressure, and look at that, Mackenzie Alexander reads the route. Can he run it back for a pick six? He's going. He beats that guy. One more guy to beat. Derrick Henry can't tackle him. Mackenzie Alexander gets into the end zone. That's going to tie this ball game up. Jay Coker was having an incredible game leading up to that point, but Mackenzie Alexander does what he needs his team for. So Derrick Henry there getting caught for a one-yard rush. Jay Coker again in shotgun. Rolling out to the right, pressure coming to him, and Shaq Lawson with the sack. Loss of eight yards in that play. Shaq Lawson has been huge for Clemson so far. Third and 17, they need a whole lot of yards. Coker sidesteps, but he gets the ball to Ridley, but he's two yards short. So in fourth and two, they have to punt the ball. A great return by Clemson. Gets the ball out here near midfield. Deshaun Watson's getting pressure, so he's running the ball up the right-hand side. He's got a chance to get a first down a lot more. 16 yards in that play. That's what Deshaun Watson needs because he's been great in the ground, decent in the passing game. Here on a halfback screen, Wayne Gallman Jr. is going to get the ball to the left-hand side. He's got one guy to beat. He can't get past him. He gets knocked out of the 15-yard line. Great play all around for Clemson, but there's a clipping penalty. So that play is going to come back. Dabo Sweeney, of course, pleading the referee for something. It's going to be third and 28, needing a whole lot of yards. The ball goes deep. Great play, though, by Alabama's defensive backs, stopping that with 34 seconds left. So 30 seconds left in the ballgame, Jay Coker trying to march his team down for a victory. Derrick Henry on the little dump off pass gets lit up by the safety, but he gets 14 yards there. First and 10, 22 seconds left. Coker throws it out to the left side. Mark Fields, you could have won the game with a pick six there. He bobbles that pass and drops it. Third and six now. Alabama's looking for something. Left hand side, they beat the coverage. Chris Black is going down. Curse is going to miss the tackle. Another guy misses the tackle, but Chris Black steps out. What a play by Jay Coker just over the defensive back's head. Safety can't get to it in time. Chris Black then turns on the Jets and gets knocked out just inside the five yard line. Alabama has seven seconds. They don't opt to kick the field goal. They're gonna hand it off to Derrick Henry. And when you have a Heisman winner on your team, you give it to him in the clutch and he's gonna give them a 21 to 14 lead. Everyone's feeling good now, but there's still time for one more play. So Clemson has four seconds left in the ball game. Can they convert? Little play action here. Deshaun Watts is gonna test his arm. He's got a guy deep, but it's double coverage. It's not going to work. Alabama's going to walk out of here with a W virtually, but in real life, who's going to win? Tell me who you think in the comments below, and we'll see who's correct. Thanks for watching today's video. Make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on future videos. Hit the like button to share your support, and I'll see you guys in the next one.